David Patterson is a professor at UC Berkeley and wrote an op-ed piece in the New York Times. It was a call to arms that said, if computer scientists can uh, attack the problem of cancer, then we have almost a moral obligation to do that. Cancer is this terrible disease. We have the skills that could help fight it. How can we, as moral human beings, ignore this? The cancer patient in 2015 lives in a paradox. Uh, there's never been more knowledge and more drugs to help that patient, but the patients never had access to a smaller fraction. When we started the Atom Project, we were looking at a lot of the computational problems in genomics, and a lot of them are patterns that map really well to a traditional ETL-like setup. Atom is an attempt to think up a scalable API for processing genomic data. What genomics is, is the process by which we take the DNA out of cells, DNA and RNA, all of the information, and we analyze it and convert it into data so that we can identify what has gone wrong in the cell. DNA is three billion letters long, and so what we do is we fish out that coding information and then we sequence it, and the output of that machine is basically text files that are about 100 letters long, and so then what has to happen from a big data perspective is that that raw data has to be reassembled into the original sequence. What we do here in this laboratory is that we take tumor samples from patients, we get a normal cell, we compare the genetic information in the tumor cells, and then we apply statistics and algorithms and our understanding about cancer biology. And what we're looking for are differences in that genetic information. We call those driver alterations. And uh, this has revolutionized cancer care over the past 15 years. OpenGenomics.io is a group of volunteers which wants to help defeat cancer faster through open source technologies and education for both biologists and computer scientists. Open Genomics is a great way for developers in Scala and Spark communities to give back. We work on very important problems in commercially successful companies. This is a way for you to volunteer and to help a really important problem of humanity. We had huge enthusiastic response from open source developers. They generally ask, how can I help? If you really want developers who are experts in their own area to help out, um, you have to tell them what's out there, what the data sets are, and uh, give them something that they can play with. So, you know, we, we try to make a strong effort in the Big Data Genomics Project to keep everything open, to keep our plans for what we're doing open, and make it easy for people who are new to get up to speed and start contributing to the project. I find it incredibly exciting to see Scala and Spark to be put to such an extremely important use, saving lives. It's very rewarding to see this technology already used in medical applications and, you know, in cases uh, with real patients. Through the patient-facing experience we're building, we're giving people direct access to their data and information that will empower them to seek the care they deserve. We're fundamentally changing the way that patients receive cancer care. You know, it's really exciting. I mean, you feel like you're on the forefront of, of science and discovery. And you're also helping people, which is awesome. Most people today think that the next big leap forward in cancer is going to be a breakthrough in the future. We, in a very revolutionary, disruptive way, believe that the biggest breakthrough the patient needs today is an organizational model that gives them access to the breakthroughs that have already taken place. And getting the patients access to those breakthroughs, we believe, will be the biggest leap forward uh, that's taken place yet in the war against cancer.